Believe it or not, the script of the first female president in American history this year, Elizabeth Warren, it actually ties into the battle for the NBA's eighth seed in a really significant way. It's because the Lakers are going to three-peat to win their 19th championship in 2022. And at that time, the female owner, the daughter of Jerry Buss, Jeannie Buss, is going to win the three-peat, and she's going to end up visiting Elizabeth Warren uh, two times out of the three championships. And that's exactly why the Lakers are going to be visiting Elizabeth Warren. I talked about it in this video right here. And people thought she wasn't going to be a competent owner. They thought she was completely over her head last year and over the last couple of years, and they, they thought she wasn't fit to own the team at all. And that's sort of what... We're seeing with the election right now, people doubting that Elizabeth is going to win. And we're right before Super Tuesday on a date of 3-3. The campaigns began the year 19, as I've said right here. And now how that ties into uh, the NBA standings. So the Grizzlies are at number 8 right now, and the Pelicans are at number 9. And now the significance of the Memphis Grizzlies is that they play over at Tennessee. And the 19th Amendment became official when Tennessee was the last state to secure ratification of the 19th Amendment. Tennessee was the last state. This programming is exactly why the NBA wanted the Memphis Grizzlies to get the number two pick in the draft. J.A. Morant was going to have the Grizzlies playing ball again. And people in Memphis interested with their basketball team. And Tennessee, being the last of 36 states needed to secure ratification of the 19th Amendment, is exactly why the Lakers might end up facing them as the first of 12 teams that they're going to beat to win a three-peat with the female owner to visit the first female president. This is why the Memphis Grizzlies are having the season that they're having right now. And are the Grizzlies going to be the team to play the Lakers in the playoffs? Well, the Pelicans already lost four times against the Lakers. There's one, there's two losses, three, and four. That begs the question. Because the Memphis Grizzlies... Lost to the Lakers. And as you scroll down here, I want you to see that they beat the Lakers. So the Grizzlies did end up beating the Lakers. And that should have you think about if it's going to be Memphis. Now, they're definitely telling us who's winning the election. They're definitely telling us that this has something to do with the 19th Amendment because this NBA season began in the year 19. Now... Talked about Memphis, Tennessee, the fact that Tennessee was the last state to secure ratification for the 19th Amendment. I like how the coach of the Grizzlies is named Taylor. His name begins with the name of a girl. Taylor, right? Taylor is normally a girl name. And Taylor Jenkins was also born in the same year that LeBron was born. Uh, Taylor Jenkins. And now T is also the 20th letter. So Tennessee actually has a really big significant theme with the election being in the year 20. And now the New Orleans Pelicans. Gail Benson is a female owner of the New Orleans Pelicans. People thought this administration was completely incompetent. Uh, she is a billionaire. She's a businesswoman. She is uh, 73 years of age right now. Now the this is how you know it's going to be the Pelicans. She was born on January the 26th. January the 26th was also the day that Kobe Bryant died this year. Kobe Bryant died on the 26th day. And I find it not a coincidence that the Lakers made the trade for Anthony Davis, that uh, Brandon Ingram got shipped out to the New Orleans Pelicans, Lonzo Ball, and Anthony Davis is on the Lakers. And... Uh, Rajon Rondo is on the Lakers, and 
DeMarcus Cousins played for the Pelicans before he joined the Lakers, before he got cut. But Gail Benson, she was born on the date that Kobe Bryant died. And this is how you know that it is going to be the Pelicans instead of the Grizzlies. Gail Benson has to match under 1947. Is she a Zionist? I don't know. Star David is under 19. It's master plan, the death of Kobe Bryant, and the first playoff series against New Orleans Pelicans. All C&I. under 19. Now, here it is. Here's how her birthday ties into the script for the Lakers to play against the Pelicans. Kobe Strong as Demachev under 26. January the 26th is 1-26. January the 26th, that's the Demachev of New Orleans and Kobe Strong. The first team that the Lakers are going to play in the playoffs since the death of Kobe Bryant is going to be the New Orleans Pelicans. They have the female owner that ties into this rigged election theme that we have. Memphis, Tennessee, Jamacha 45. This is why you're seeing a Tennessee team in the battle for the 8th seed. It has everything to do with the ratification of the 19th Amendment. It's 3 Pete that equals 45. It's Grizzlies. It's 3 Pete that equals 131 and 59. This is why the Grizzlies are in the hunt. It has everything to do with the 19th Amendment. I'm completely right about this election. The LA Lakers, Grizzly. 112, how about Bears equaling 45 and 18, and 3 Pete is 45 and 18? I mean, the Grizzlies used to play in Vancouver. That's where they were from. And the Grizzlies got the name after the Grizzly Bears that were in the wild up in northern Canada, or up in the, nor in the north over at Canada. So the, this this is why you, start, you, you see the Memphis Grizzlies in the battle for the eighth seed. L.A. Lakers has Demacia 79 and 25. This is the Memphis Grizzlies' uh, 25th season. This is the Grizzlies' 25th season. I need to go to the Grizzlies' 25th season, 24 prior seasons, Canadian team, NBA team, the defending champion, uh, Toronto Raptors are, 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 are from Canada. Lakers are trying to win the championship. So this is why you're seeing the Grizzlies in there. New Orleans Pelicans, LeBron Ramon James, greatest player. Same corresponding, simple and Pythagorean Gematrias. Uh, the purple and gold equals 79. You, 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 you talk about the death of Kobe Bryant. Uh, you know, Kobe is sacrificing the owner. Her 73rd birthday was on the day that Kobe Bryant died because she's 73 years of age. And it's Bryant that's 26. So, so, so Gail, Gail Benson... This was the find that puts the Pelicans over the top. Gail is 23. Ng is 23. Gail Benson. How about Benson itself? Benson is 69-24. We talk about Kobe Bryant. We talk about the fact that it's Canada that's 24. The defending champion is the team from Canada. That's what the Lakers are trying to do this year, and, and that's the first team that, that they're going to be facing the playoffs. And you see there, this is, we're getting the significance of the Memphis Grizzlies being the Lakers, the Grizzlies in the hunt. I think I've broken this down pretty well. Uh, founded in, 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 in 2002. Now, 2002 was the year that the Lakers three-peated. The, 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 Pel the Pelicans are founded in 2002. 2002 is a four-year uh, 2020 is also a four year, so you know, you 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 gotta go with the Pelicans, the Pelicans to come back and storm back and uh, make it to the playoffs. And how uh, how many years have the Pelicans not been in the playoffs for? Or just what their playoff record is? They're trying to obviously advance, 24 wins. Against the team that had Kobe Bryant, that's going to 3 P 24 years later, but it ain't going to happen. But their 21st playoff win is going to occur against the Lakers. Lakers is 21, so that's what you're seeing with um, the New Orleans Pelicans. Now, the Pelicans lose game number 30 in the playoffs against LeBron. They lose their 33rd game against the team, make it to the NBA Finals in the team that had Kobe Bryant. About 
New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans, Louisiana. City of New Orleans. Guy continue to experiment. City of New Orleans and NBA Finals 78, I mean. City of New Orleans, Louisiana. Michael Jordan's birthday on February the 17th, I mean. Pretty interesting finds I see here. City of New Orleans, Louisiana is the same Demetrius, three P then Grizzlies I've talked about before. Now a list of Grizzlies seasons. Which is what year that Gail Benson is born in uh, 1947, 1947, what is 1947, the Chinese Zodiac? Year of the Pig, and this season began the Year of the Pig 2019, so if, if that ties into the Pelican owner in a big way, then that, that, that explains it. Thirtieth playoff win against LeBron. I mean, the, this this is showing you how they script and they code these things according to their script. Memphis Grizzlies. You know, Dallas tough. I imagine they'll probably lose to one of the Atlanta teams. Houston, Philadelphia. I mean, to Toronto Raptors twice, and 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 Denver and Portland and Dallas back to back against New Orleans. I mean, Pelicans. Milwaukee and New Orleans and New Orleans and Boston. Man, forget about that. The NBA knew what it was doing when they were scheduling it. Even Oklahoma City is going to be tough and San Antonio Spurs. I mean, all, all, all of these are really tough games. All these are really tough games. And uh, they are probably going to end up falling just short. And now, obviously, the biggest, the biggest thing that we have to... Or actually, the... Memphis Grizzlies here, uh, 2019 Grizzlies. You know, uh, as I've said before, their their 25th season. Just what season was this in in Tennessee? That's what I like to know. Their 18th season in Memphis, and that's where you're getting a Jamal of 3P. So I, I'm showing you how how they're 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 coding coding this to the core. Last year, they traded Marc Gasol to the Toronto Raptors. Pretty interesting find with the Grizzlies. NBA playoffs beginning. So first game, the NBA playoffs, and to tie in. All right, 2019-20 NBA season. I mean, the, the time durations I talked about in the Kobe Bryant video have to do with the New Orleans Pelicans owner. So, you want to review? Uh, I will review. Playoffs begin April the 18th. So, let's just talk about Kobe Bryant's death, a.k.a. Gail Bryant's birthday. Now, if Kobe Bryant was dead and sacrificed, does it mean that the Pelicans are going to lose? I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I suppose so. But, once again, the NBA's WWE... I have to go with the WWE script, and as I've shown you, the schedule was not good for the Memphis Grizzlies, and you look at the Pelicans making the playoffs after how many losses? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 losses, 13 losses to have a 6 and 22 record, and it's LA and LA 3 peat in the year 22 now. They beat the Minnesota Timberwolves in that losing streak. And the main significance about Minnesota is that that is where Kobe Bryant made his NBA debut. The Pelicans, Minnesota, Sacramento, they can take them on. Look at the end of the schedule here. Philadelphia, playoff scene, clinch, Phoenix, Washington, jokes, Charlotte, joke, 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 joke. Knicks are a joke. The Magic are trash. They can't shoot the ball for nothing. So you ask me, they do have a, they they do have a pretty nice road of making the playoffs, New Orleans Pelicans. So expect more drama, and um, eight and one the record. Now, this 
83, this 84 day duration, I think it's going to connect to LeBron's birthday now. Uh, two months and 24 days from January the 26th, Kobe's death and uh, Gay O'Brien's birthday to April the 18th, the beginning of the playoffs, 12 weeks later. And 12 is the number relating the time. Two sets of 12 hours, 12 months. That's how our calendar is based off of. Uh, two months and 24 days later. I mean, it's got the 24 in there with Kobe Bryant's number 24 and whatnot. And I think the 84 days is mostly going to relate to LeBron James' birth year in 1984. But nonetheless, it's it's pretty interesting to, to talk about with this. Anthony Davis returning to New Orleans. This whole 19th Amendment storyline with the Memphis Grizzlies, the 19th Amendment ratified at Tennessee. This is what you're seeing here. This is what you're seeing here with these coded scripts with female owner Jeannie Buss winning the 19th championship, visiting the women president. It's happened.